Hello everyone this is Nikda Kakkad and this is my channel Accelerate AI Careers today we are going to solve a hard level lead code problem lead code 42 trapping rain water it has been asked in amazon microsoft and google interviews in past 6 to 12 months i'm going to show you two approaches to solve this question let me know if you have a better approach to solve this question in the comments here if you would want me to solve some other lead code question also mention in the comments let's start coding Now what does this question say you have been given n non negative integers like in this example array height 0 1 0 2 1 0 and so on which actually correspond to the elevation map here in this graph you can see right where the width of each bar is 1 now you have to compute how much water in all can be trapped after raining here and the axis has been shown so every block is equivalent to one width and the height could vary and the height varies as per the array given here now you have to compute how much water in all can be captured so for example in this figure if we look at we'll have to check the heights of the boundary in which the water is getting captured so for example the right height here is 2 whereas the left height here is 1 so the water being captured here is one unit because if you capture anything more than one then it will overflow same way if you see here the left height is 2 whereas the right height for the boundary is again 3 and hence you can capture at least 2 here but if you see the left height here is 1 and the right height is also 1 hence only 1 so overall you can see four units here and similarly here the left height is 2 the right height is 2 and there is a bottom also here one unit so you can capture only one so it is easier to conclude how many total units of water can be captured which would be four units here one unit here one unit here and total 4 plus 1 plus 1 which is six units of water that is your output from the elevation map being shown on the axis it's very easy to deduce but what's the logic behind it how do you solve it while coding there is a very basic logic here you are basically checking for max of left height and then you are checking for max of right height and then you are taking a min of these two values so min of max of left height which is say l and then you are taking max of right height which is r and you are taking min of l and r because if you overshoot in either of these then the water will overflow and whatever min of left uh, comma r you are taking that's not your answer so you also have to deal with the current height so say suppose if you look at this instance here the current height is 1 so if you see max of left height here is 3 max of right here height here is 2 so you can add max capture minimum of max of left height and max of right height so you can capture bare minimum of two units of water but you are capturing only one unit of water why because you also have a current height of one unit so you also need to account for current height which is h of i current index height so or height of i yeah so that's the logic behind the question you have to track maximum of left heights maximum of right heights then take minimum of these maximas whatever the minimum is you have to subtract the current height current index height from it and that is the amount of water that will be captured at ith index and when you collect these captured waters from all the units after that you have to total them to return the result I hope you understand the logic now what are the approaches to solve it so one solution which exist it would be of on time complexity and on space complexity which we will look at now and there is another solution which exist which would be on time complexity that is linear time complexity and constant space complexity o1 space complexity so i will be explaining you the algorithms for both and we'll be coding using o o n time complexity and o n space complexity finally so if you have not subscribed to my channel until now please do subscribe for your daily lead code challenge let's get going and understand how these two approaches work so if we are talking about the first approach so essentially you need max of left height which is l max of right heights which is r 
and you also need min of left and r min of max of left heights and max of right heights which is this so you need min and you also basically need min of max of left heights right heights minus height i so you need to capture this for all the units all the indices so to do that we use additional memory we use additional array to track these so say suppose we are talking about this array itself i will copy this array to explain it here suppose we are talking about this array itself so let's calculate now for this particular value there is nothing to the left of it so max of nothing would be zero now for this index there's only zero to the left of it so max would be zero again max of left again to the left of it there is only one value which is one so max would turn to one now to the left of it there is only one value which is one so max would be one now here the value would change to its left there are two values one and two so max would be two for left and it will go on to be two for this one as well for this one as well now for this one the max would be two since nothing is greater than two here now here the value would change if the max would be three and going forward for every other value it would be three now let's calculate max for right so for max for right let's start backwards so here there's nothing to its right so there's nothing to its right so the the max would be zero to its right now there's only one to its right so maximum would be one now for this one there's nothing to its right apart from one and two max would be two for this one again max would be two for this one again max would be two and now for rest of the other six seven positions the max would be three because three is here so so you have max of left heights you have max of right heights now you need to compute min so that's pretty easy so here min of these two zero comma three would be zero again it would be zero again it would be one one two two min of two comma three two again Two, 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 one, and it would be zero. And now you have to subtract the current height from this min value. So zero minus zero would be zero. Zero minus one would be minus one, and the value cannot be negative. So essentially, we will round it off to zero. Again, this one would be one minus zero one. This would be one minus two minus one. Again, the value cannot be negative, so we will round it off to zero. This would be two minus one, one. This would be two minus zero, two. This would be two minus one, one. This would be two minus three minus one. Again, the value cannot be negative, so we will round it off to zero. Two minus two, zero. Two minus one, one. One minus two, minus one. Again, round it off to zero. Zero minus one, minus one. Round it off to zero. So when you check for your result, it will be sum of all these values. And if you check one plus one, two plus two, four plus two, six. So your result is six, as given here in your output. So I hope this approach is clear to you. The time complexity would be O n because you are essentially looping through the entire array once, and the space complexity would also be O n because you are using additional array to capture these values. So I hope this approach is clear. Now let's talk about the second solution, which has O n time complexity and constant, that is O one space complexity. So in this approach, we will not use additional arrays to store max of uh, left. Or max of right and then min of left or right. Instead, we will be using two pointer approach, and we will start the left pointer from index zero and the right pointer from index length of height minus one. That is the length of array minus one, last index, and we will loop through the entire array, and we will be updating two values, left max and right max. 
so as we move if we proceed from the left side then we update the left max as we proceed from the right side we update the right max at every index and as soon as we have looked through the entire we will have the results updated so how do we decide whether we are moving the left pointer or whether we are moving the right pointer so to decide that you have to see whether left max is higher or right max is higher whatever is higher at an instant that doesn't move so basically if left max is more than right max then you have to move the right pointer towards inside so you have to reduce r by 1 if the left max pointer is less than right max if the left max value is less than right max at any instant then you have to move the left pointer that means you have to increase the left pointer by 1 and that's how you have to loop so it is basic two pointer approach you have solved such questions i hope before so you start from uh, the left pointer from the beginning of the array the right pointer from the end of the array and you will run the loop unle- until left pointer crosses right pointer that is you have looped across the entire array and you decide upon moving the left pointer or right pointer depending upon which value is higher so the value which is higher if left max is higher then you have to move the right pointer if right max is higher you have to move the left pointer we'll see the solution and then you will be able to understand it better so let's start coding so first of all let's handle the base case the base case would be if the array is empty so if not height that is the array is empty then in that case the sum would be zero you cannot accommodate any water if your array has none null values so return zero now we initialize the two pointers so left would be at zeroth index whereas right, uh, right would be at the end of the array that is length of height minus 1th index now we will initialize the two pointers uh, two values left max and right max so left max would be height of left pointer so whatever left index value is that height so and right max would be the height at right index basically so initially uh, right pointer is at length of height minus 1 so that is the last value and the height at that pointer would be 1 as shown in the array here and the left pointer starts from 0 so 0 and the height there would be 0 okay so basically your left max would be 0 and your right max would be 1 so your right max is higher that means you have to move the left pointer so you will be moving left pointer by 1 that's how this question is going to get solved and we'll also initialize our total value of water which it can hold which is result equal to 0 now we will loop while left pointer is less than right pointer that is you have looped through the array now we check if left max is less than right max that which is true in this case right now in that case you have to move the left pointer so we increment left by 1 and you also have to update left max so how will you update left max since you are moving left pointer by 1 so it would be the max between the current left max and the current value height at left index i hope this is clear since you move the left pointer by 1 so initially l was 0 now l is 1 so initially left max was 0 as you can see from this array now le- since you moved left pointer by 1 it would be max between left max which was 0 and height of l which which is 1 now when you have moved it so then your left max get updated to 1 so i hope it is clear and you also update the result so how will the result be updated you will uh, take left max since you are moving the left pointer and you will subtract height of from it so basically it follows again the same policy you take min of max of left height and right height so you already got max of left height then max of right height and from those you figured out that the min is left max that's why you chose this left max is less than right max so you essentially figured out the min is left max and then you subtract the current value from it and that's value is what the water can hold at that particular index and then you add it to your result now what's the else condition if left max is greater than right max okay in that scenario you have to move the right pointer so right pointer will be reduced by 1 since it is at the end of the array it moves inside 
and write max will get updated. And how will write max get updated? It will be max between the current write max value and the current height at index r. And then you will update the result. And how will you update the result? So you will update the result by write max minus height at index r. So again, you already deduced that left max is greater than right max. So min of left max and right max is right max, right? So that you have figured out in the sales condition. And then you subtract the current value at rth index, at current index. That's the rule you are following. And you update the count, the result basically. And finally, there's nothing else remaining. You just need to return the final result. So once it has looped through the entire array, you have the count or the amount of water, rainwater it can trap. And that's your result. Let me run it and see if it works. So yeah, the solution is accepted. Let's submit. So you can see that the solution has been submitted. So I hope you enjoyed this coding round. And it is O and time complexity and O1 space complexity. Mention in the comments if you know some other approach as well to solve this question. Subscribe to my channel for getting the latest update for the next lead code video. Thank you.